Let's talk about AI news this week. Sora has really blown everyone's mind recently, but there are two big limitations to it which have recently been revealed by the company. As per OpenAI's new news release, apparently it takes about one hour for Sora um, to actually process your prompts. So that essentially or probably means that you'll have to wait for several hours to go back and forth with the model to actually get what you want. The other limitation that Sora has is that it basically doesn't allow you complete control. So if you wanted to change the camera angles by yourself and take time to do those iterations and let alone the question about consistency between the videos. So this will be really interesting to see how it basically boils down to. But at this point in time, these controls are not available. So our Hollywood people and the Bollywood people can relax for now. Um, there is some time to go before this thing becomes a real artist killer. So you'd have already heard about Suno AI. Now Suno is mind blowing in several ways. One of the first kind of um, music production tools which can produce the complete songs with a single text prompt. They have now updated to version three, more accurate song production, more accurate uh, lyrics creation. But in the last version, I wonder if you've used it, but it used to skip or eat a few words um, during the music production. And then there is an instrumental option as well. So you wanted to come up with something AI original, um, this this is your time to get in and learn this art as well. Eleven Labs has also been producing a lot of buzz recently. And one of the newer things that they have released is the sound effects panel, where you could create sound effects from existing scenes as well. Not on point most of the time, and you'll have to go back and forth and iterate. But then again, this is the start of something really amazing. Stable Diffusion 3 is already almost here, and it's been announced for some time now. And some of the fascinating changes that they've promised is the fact that it can adhere to the prompts a lot more tighter. It can also write text, which is also something which is expected as of now uh, from the models of today. Some of the key models that could also do it include Leonardo and Majorni, definitely. Gemini 1.5 um, is also around the corner, Pro, to be released. Uh, with a context length of about a million tokens. I think for reference, King James Bible is about 740 odd thousand and almost about 11 hours of audio and about one hour of video length as well, which could be processed. In one of their demos, they showed how um, they were able to find specific details in a, in a video of about 50 odd minutes, um, which is incredible. Currently, I'm using Gemini Advanced, which doesn't come close to the things that they are promising with the 1.5 Pro. So it'll be very interesting to wait for that. Now something about Midjourney, one of my favorite tools. So Midjourney 6 is now promising uh, character consistency, which is coming soon. Uh, the style consistency is already here and you could use it by using hyphen hyphen sref. We are hoping for the character consistency to really knock it out of the park. Until now, we've been using several techniques to uh, acquire that consistency over several generations. But I think it's about time that this has to be incorporated in the model by itself. The other big news is Midjourney version 7 is promising video as well. And with other models like Sora around the corner, this is going to be really interesting and challenging for Midjourney uh, to pull it off as well. Before I leave you, this is one of the Runway ML film competition entries by Jamie Rojas Cassetti. This kind of shows you, even with Runway at this point in time, if you wanted to create an amazing AI film, this is what you can do. Amazing close-up shots, very detailed geometry that you usually expect it to be created as 3D models previously, but now um, this is a reality and you can create it yourself as well. well. That's it for this week's AI Roundup. If you like this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe so that I can keep making these every week for you.